At the moment, I'm working on several projects. For example, uh, this DIY phone a preamplifier and uh, this uh, ultra low noise power supply for it. I hope to show them in a future video because they are not quite ready yet. So instead, in this week's video, I will show you some of my favorite tools that I think will be quite useful in anyone's toolbox. I will start with tweezers. I already showed these tweezers with bent tips in one of my previous videos, but I mostly use them for soldering because they are just too uh, thin and delicate for other jobs. So I mostly tend to use uh, these tweezers. As you can see, they have uh, rounded points and uh, the jaws have serrations inside. And I find them really invaluable when I need, for example, to connect or disconnect wires to phono cartridges and for other similarly fiddly jobs. And frankly, I have no idea who made uh, these tweezers. I have had them for a very long time, more than 10 years, I think. And a couple of years ago, I misplaced them and could not find them anywhere. So I bought uh, those tweezers from Weller, uh, the same company that makes soldering irons and soldering stations and other uh, soldering accessories. But then I found my old tweezers, so I did not even open uh, these tweezers from Weller. But as you can see, they have a similar shape, they are very similar in size, and I'm pretty sure they will work just as well, uh, if not better, uh, than the tweezers that I currently use. Another tool that I find myself using quite often are uh, these pliers, and uh, they are called parallel action pliers, or parallel jaw pliers. As you can see, as I open them, their jaws remain parallel to each other, as opposed to regular pliers. As you can see, in regular pliers, jaws open at an angle. And also, in these pliers, uh, the jaws themselves are smooth, and they are also made of brass instead of steel, so they don't mark the thing that you are holding with them. Uh, so, for example, if I need to hold uh, like a nut or a bolt head without leaving any marks on it, I just use uh, these parallel jaw pliers. And uh, they are made by a company called Prestige Tools. I have never heard of them uh, before, but I've been really happy with these pliers. More pliers. These two tools are made by a Japanese company called Engineer, and they are specifically designed to remove stuck or stripped screws. And these larger ones, they are model number PZ58, and the small ones are model number PZ57. And these are designed for screws up to M3 in size, and these are designed for screws, I think, up to M8 in size. As you can see, uh, these pliers have uh, round indentations in their jaws and they are heavily serrated. They are made of very strong uh, carbon steel, so they grip uh, screw heads very securely. And uh, I can tell you that they saved my ass a couple of times, so I do not use them very often, but when I need them, I am very glad that I have them. Their only downside is that they only work with button head screws. They do not work with countersunk screws because you cannot uh, grip them but that is to be expected. The most useful tool in any toolkit is probably a screwdriver, and here I have two sets of screwdrivers. So this one is from iFixit, and it also includes some additional tools such as uh, these tweezers, and uh, this prying tool, and the spudger, and uh, the suction cup, and uh, it also includes a screwdriver with a set of bits that are designed to open electronic devices. And uh, I also have uh, this set, uh, which is made uh, by Xiaomi in cooperation with Wiha. Wiha is a German company that makes really high quality tools. And I can tell you straight away that this screwdriver is of much higher quality than the screwdriver uh, in this set from iFixit. 
And uh, this set has all kinds of unusual beats. So, for example, uh, we have a trilobe beat. I believe Nintendo uses them in some of their in some of their consoles. We have uh, pentalobe beats. Apple really uh, loves them and uses them in their laptops. We also have uh, security beats, and I actually used them when I needed to upgrade uh, uh, RAM in my uh, Mac Mini. And uh, there is also these uh, triangular beats that I have never used, and also this. Uh, strange beat which has like two prongs and I actually used it to adjust bearings uh, on a tone arm once. Another very useful tool is uh, this set of uh, stepped drill bits and uh, these are really nice if you are building some kind of electronic device and you need to drill um, large diameter holes for connectors and switches and stuff like that. And uh, this particular set includes three bits. This one goes up to 12 millimeters in one millimeter steps. This one goes up to 12 millimeters in uh, two millimeter steps. And uh, this one goes up to 20 millimeters in two millimeter steps. And I don't remember where I got it, but I checked and they are widely available on Amazon and on eBay. So you can buy them anywhere. And the final tool for today is this uh, desoldering pump, which by the way is also made by Engineer. I am a huge fan of their tools. The most interesting thing about this desoldering pump is that it has a nozzle that is made of silicone. And silicone is both flexible and heat resistant. So this allows you to put the nozzle right over your uh, soldering tip and it really sucks up uh, solder much more efficiently than regular desoldering pumps that have uh, tips made of hard plastic. And uh, the nozzle is basically just a piece of silicone tubing. So you can buy uh, replacement nozzles from them. Or I'm pretty sure that uh, regular silicone tubing with three millimeters internal uh, diameter will work just as well.